bold acetate frames are probably the best way to make a statement with your eyewear. And no one does bold frames better than Robert LaRoche. So in today's video, I have five of their very best designs from their collection. And if you're shopping for a pair of thick acetate glasses, this is the video for you. So hi, I'm Robert, Style and Vision Consultant here at the Spectacle Factory. And it's my job to pair you with your perfect pair of glasses. And like I said, if you're shopping for thick frames, look no further than Robert LaRoche. And I'm going to be showcasing some of the very best colors and shapes, and finally giving them their SF score. And we're going to start with the Visconti. This is probably our most popular Robert LaRoche frame. And really that's because this sums up everything that they're about. It is the quintessential Robert LaRoche look. This beautiful royal blue just works perfectly with so many different complexions. And one thing that really does characterize Robert LaRoche frames is this inward bevel around the lens rim. That makes the frames cast an interesting silhouette around the eyes. It really does frame the eyes in a really interesting way. Every single one of their frames does that. And something else that's characteristic of Robert LaRoche is the fact that these are absolutely built like a tank. You have not three, not five, but seven barrel hinges on the inside of these frames, meaning that basically if you break that hinge, it is your fault. You would have to do a lot to these to physically break it. Not only that, but the acetate itself has a very solid reassuring feel to it. And the glasses, though big and bold, are not overly heavy. They are still very wearable, very comfortable. Even if you have a larger head, this is still going to work for you. But on someone smaller like me, it just looks effortlessly oversized. Now, almost completely juxtaposed against the Visconti is the Jean-Louis. And I say that because, as opposed to the oversized styling of that one, this is deliberately undersized, and this should always be worn smaller than the face. Now, the Jean-Louis, just like all Robert LaRoche frames, comes in a variety of beautiful colors. And that is something that I really do like about this collection. But you can never be a classic tortoise shell. And for me, the shape itself does enough here that you don't necessarily need an adventurous color to make them stand out from the crowd. That inward bevel is, if anything, even more prominent on this style. Not that it's done to a greater degree, but because the shape is more geometric, it makes the lens rim stand out even more. Now, Robert LaRoche frames are handmade in Italy, and they are made from Italian acetate, which is excellent quality. And you can tell that these frames are made to a very high standard of quality. I would go as far as to say that they are the best frames I've seen come out of Italy. Having said that, Japanese acetate frames still have the edge in terms of polishing and overall craftsmanship. But a lot of Japanese acetate frames don't have the beveling and the contouring that you see on styles like this. And for me, those two things kind of balance each other out. I would definitely recommend these frames. If someone was asking for top quality acetate frames, I think Robert LaRoche have to be in the mix, not least because of some of the cool shapes like the Jean-Louis. But they also do classic as well. And if you do want something that is easier to wear, frames like the Eve have got you covered. Now this is a frame that looks almost black as you put it on, but it's actually a smoky gray. And this is another one of the fairly unique colors that Robert LaRoche exhibit within their collection. The smoky gray colorway means that these frames are a little bit more intriguing than they would be if it was just plain black. And at the same time, a bit bolder than they would be if they were a lighter gray. So it really, really works for this collection. That said, this frame is less bold than the others, as you can probably tell. I think that's a good thing because except for a very small minority of people, overly thick round frames just don't look that good. It can be too circular around the eyes and the Eve having that slightly thinner cut of acetate, I think that works better with this particular shape. And because the smoky gray colorway is semi-translucent, you do see some of the nice detailing on the metal temples that are embedded within the acetate. So yes, these frames do have a metal core to them. That gives them extra rigidity, sturdiness, and as I mentioned, they are built to last. If you want a frame that is that bit more bold, but without going over the top, this is the one to consider. And contrasting massively against that is the Harry. The Harry is arguably the most iconic frame that Robert LaRoche makes because as you can see, it's immediate statement. This is a frame that you walk in the room, it's a showstopper. Not least because of the colorway. This beautiful green, and I mean that, it is a truly beautiful shade of green, has a beautiful gold metal temple embedded within it. And that green and gold, I just think is such a sumptuous pairing. Again, we see the seven barrel hinges, this time in gold, which just makes them look even more luxurious. The Robert LaRoche circular logo is three-dimensional. It's lifted away from the acetate. That is true within the whole collection and shows the level of quality that these frames are made to. And again, it is just so much more striking because of that inward bevel that you see around the lens rim. 
I can't state enough how important that is for frames like this. And if you are going bold, if you want bold, it's not enough just to have a thick frame. You do also need that little bit of sculpting to give the frames the character and that extra bit of dimension. These are probably the ultimate bold frame. I know there are brands out there that do chunky acetates, Jack Marie Marge being the obvious candidate. And yes, Jack Marie Marge make great glasses, but for me, for all of their embellishments, there's a lot that is a bit excessive. The Harry is not excessive, it's just class. It's classy, it's cool. For me, I like that almost, I mean, you couldn't call these frames understated, but compared to something like a Jack Marie Marge, it is. There are no gemstones and embellishments and nothing unnecessary, just enough to make a great pair of glasses. That's what the Harry is. And speaking of great, the Corleone is maybe the most kind of identifiable Robert LaRoche style. And I say that because this is a very intriguing shape and especially in the honey colorway, it's even more intriguing. Now this is definitely a colorway that isn't gonna work for everyone, of course. What's interesting about the Corleone is the shaping because it's neither round nor square. There's a lot of contouring around the keyhole bridge, as you can see, that makes the frames look very structured, almost bordering on ornate. But the honey is, I mean, I couldn't not showcase the honey for you because it is such an eye-catching color. This frame is one that if you don't buy with a photochromic lens, I would be very disappointed for you. Whilst every single frame in the Robert LaRoche collection works well with photochromic because they arguably look even better as sunglasses, this one just pairs incredibly well with a sapphire lens finish. So sapphire gives the lens this kind of blue iridescence, as you can see that contrasts really nicely against the yellow. But this is on top of a gray base tint. This is Photofusion X gray with sapphire flash coating. So Photofusion X flash, as I like to call it. And as this lens goes darker in the sun, what it's gonna do is provide even more contrast between the frame and the lens, like so. And for me, that makes the Corleone an amazing frame if you're considering photochromic lenses. There is a lot of history with Robert LaRoche. They were founded in the 70s and became an iconic brand that sadly kind of faded away. In recent years, the fashion house has been brought back and I think they've been brought back better than ever. Incredible quality acetates, cool shapes, incredibly well finished and built to last. What more could you want from a chunky acetate frame? And now it's time to give them their SF score. Starting with style, and these frames have bags of style. And on balance, I'm going to give these frames an eight out of 10 for styling. Next up is originality. And Robert LaRoche are very original when it comes to the shapes. And thinking back to their past, they are one of the innovators within eyewear. That said, these are relatively simple, classic acetate frames. So we're going to go with a six out of 10 for originality. In terms of craftsmanship, the Finishing, as I mentioned, is not up to par with the very best acetate frames in the world produced in Japan. They are the best from Italy, and that runs Japanese frames very close. They do have the edge over a lot of Japanese acetates in terms of the beveling and the finishing and the contouring that's performed on the frames. Plus the construction of the hinges and the way those are embedded into the acetate with the metal temples is a sight to behold. So we're going to go with a seven out of 10 for craftsmanship. In terms of comfort, these glasses are surprisingly comfortable. Compared to other brands that are similar in aesthetic, I would say these are probably the most comfortable. So on balance, we're going to go with a five out of 10. And finally, durability. These frames are, simply put, built to last. If you look after a Robert LaRoche frame and you don't even necessarily have to, these could last you for upwards of a decade. So we're going to go for an eight out of 10 for durability. And that means that Robert LaRoche has a specs factor of 6.8, which seems kind of low, but ultimately these frames are not for everyone. But if you want a bold acetate frame that is incredibly stylish, pretty original, and built to last, no one does it better than Robert LaRoche. I hope you found this video interesting. If you have, make sure to give us a like and subscribe to the channel for more of the best eyewear content on the internet. If you've got any questions about these frames or anything else we've featured on this channel, leave those in the comment section below. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks guys, bye bye.